to in any way protect him, I hope, from being asked the hard questions that he should have been asked during the whole primary process. Hillary Clinton speaking there moments ago, reacting to the news that Donald Trump is now the likely Republican nominee. All this is the Stop Trump movement has gone viral. In the wake of Donald Trump becoming the likely Republican nominee, members of that movement are showcasing some of their frustration on social media, some actually burning their registration cards of protest, saying they'd rather disown their own party than vote for Trump. In fact, one distraught Cruz supporter couldn't hide her emotions after Ted Cruz suspended his campaign last night. I have always, always gotten behind whoever won. It is the first time ever. I will not be able to do that. Joining me now from Los Angeles, MSNBC's Cal Perry, who's been tracking the uh, Never Trump campaign online. You've been looking at the Stop Trump movement as well. So what are you seeing today in response to Donald Trump's victory in Indiana last night? Well, we're seeing a, a new chapter in this election, and this is, of course, now the general election. You referenced that voter ID, the Republican IDs there being burned. This one actually from Palm Beach County in Florida. Imagine the value of this ID card in the 2000 elections. This from Brian Ash this was sent to the Republican chairman, uh, Reince Priebus, after he sent out a tweet last night saying that Donald Trump was the presumptive nominee. Now, of course, from our perspective, he's the likely nominee. He's still got to run around and get those delegates. But it's not just people online sending this in. We're hearing major conservative voices, people like Lindsey Graham, the senator from South Carolina. And this really provides a roadmap for people like Hillary Clinton, for Bernie Sanders, of how they can attack Donald Trump in this general election. Lindsey Graham there saying, if we nominate Trump, we will get destroyed and we will deserve it. We also heard from Ronald Reagan, the 40th president, his son, uh, yesterday tweeting out, the Republican Party is no longer the party of Reagan. It is now the party of Trump. Good luck. Not a lot of love there for the Republican chairman. I want to finish by showing you Elizabeth Warren's tweets. Now, she took to Twitter uh, last night after Ted Cruz dropped out. She's a Democratic senator from Massachusetts. We've heard her name batted around as a potential VP nominee on the Democratic side. She's been tweeting, but she's also been on Facebook. She wrote this essay on Facebook. You can find it online. I just want to quote one thing from it. She says, quote, Trump has been inciting supporters to violence praising Putin and is cool with being called an authoritarian. So you see here, Erica, the roadmap, the strategy that's now being laid out by that anti-Trump movement of how they can attack him, where maybe he's vulnerable, and certainly in the digital space, and we haven't heard from him recently, certainly he's vulnerable in this, the digital space, Eric. A lot that we will continue to keep an eye on MSNBC's Cal Perry in L.A. today. Cal, thanks.